I know I've been gone for a while. It's because uh, my camera broke down on me. Long story short, I had to get it repaired. It took forever, but now I'm back. But I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys as soon as I could. I got my camera back yesterday, um, but then I didn't have a memory card, and then I got the memory card. The memory card didn't work, so I had to go back and get another one. Just a complete mess. It's like, ah! Yeah, but anyway, I'm back, and I thought I'd do a tutorial for you guys. I've actually been using... Um, airbrush makeup for a very long time. I've actually been using it for about a month now and I've really been loving it so much so I decided to do a tutorial on how I get basically an everyday kind of makeup look using airbrush makeup. So I've been using the Den Air Professional Makeup Kit. It comes with like a bunch of different foundation shades um, that match your, your skin tone, your natural skin tone. And I'm using the one in Honey Beige today, which you'll see in the tutorial. And then I'm also using a blush from the make, um, the Airbrush Makeup Kit, which is in Peach Pink, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, so I'm using that. I'm also using uh, the before anything I'm also using the corrective concealer it comes with and mine is in a light beige and I actually really like this concealer a lot it looks like they only give you a little bit but a little goes a long way so I think that's kind of why they didn't fill it all the way um, but yeah I'm using that for like my under eyes and any areas that um, are going to need some concealer so I do that before anything then the foundation then I do my blush because you guys know I'm obsessed with blush. I love blush. And the last thing, which is my favorite thing that I use from this line, is the Dinner Moisture Moist and Dewy, which is basically how I get that dewy skin look. And I love it because it's the only product I've used that actually makes me look naturally dewy. It doesn't give me like a bunch of shimmer like highlighters do. And it doesn't look artificial. It looks perfectly natural, which is something I love, obviously. So basically, that's everything that I used in this tutorial. Um, as you guys know, with airbrush makeup, it comes with like this really cool compressor. Mine is in like a pink leopard print kind of color. And I love this so much. It's so cute. It's so little. And this is where the air comes from, in case you guys are wondering. So you need this in order to get air out of this. Um, or in order to get any makeup out of this. So then you would just put your makeup in through this little cup here and two or three drops of blush and then two drops of this moist and dewy at the end. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I want to show you guys how I do this. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and I'll see you guys again in another video later on this week. I promise. Talk to you guys again real soon. Bye! Okay, so in order to achieve this look that I'm showing you guys right now, which is just basically an everyday look for me, I'm going to start off by using my Denair Corrective Concealer, and I believe this is in a light beige color, and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes because those are my problem areas underneath my eyes, and any other areas where I have blemishes or anything just to um, cover that up and smooth it out before I apply the foundation. Next up is the foundation. Well, I'm already starting out with the foundation, but just to give you guys a little idea of what you have to do is basically I just put three to four drops of that Honey Beige foundation into the little cup holder part of the, um, I call it a gun, but it's probably not a gun. And uh, basically after that, you're just going to start by spraying it lightly. Um, you'll get the hang of it once you practice a little bit more. Um, I've been doing it for about a month, so I'm pretty much almost a pro at it now. So I'm just going to do both sides of my face, and a little goes a long way. You're going to want to make sure you take your time with it so that you don't apply too much in one area. You're going to want to focus on your blemishes first, and then kind of blend it, blend it through to your entire face. Also, what I really love about this foundation is that it doesn't cake. There's, I don't think there's any way you can cake on this foundation because it just goes on so naturally and so evenly and so smoothly, which is why I love it. So after you feel you've gotten the coverage that you want, um, your foundation is pretty much done and we're going to move on to the blush which is also really simple. All you're gonna wanna do is just clean out um, your uh, little spray gun thing. 
<laughs> I call it a spray gun and you're just gonna want to clean it out with the cleaner that your kit is going to come with so you're gonna put two to three drops in there clean it out then add a little bit of water just to make sure all the product is gone and then you're gonna apply two to three drops of the blush and I'm using the one in peach pink which I told you guys before and I'm just finding my cheekbones and then just applying it to them super super simple and then you're going to want to do it to the other side of your face obviously and then after that you're pretty much done with your blush Next is my favorite part of this routine. I'm going to be using the Din Air Moist and Dewy Serum. And I'm just applying, I think, two to three drops as well of that. And then spraying that onto the tops of my cheeks just to give me that really nice, fresh, and dewy look. I don't recommend this for people with oily skin because you probably already have that dewy look. But um, for people with dry skin, this looks super awesome because it's not something we get every day. After that, you're pretty much done with your face makeup, so I'm just going to apply my favorite lip color, which I've told you guys before. I love using lip liner as a lip stain, so I'm just using one by Rimmel. I believe it's in the color Pure, and I'll leave it down below in the description box if you're interested. So I'm just applying that onto my lips. You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are. After my lips, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply my favorite mascara of the moment. Last thing I'm going to do is keep my brows in place. So I'm just going to add a little bit of brow gel just to kind of um, brush my, my brows a little bit and tame them. And I'm not going to define them this time because I'm going for a more of a natural look. I don't want too much um, product on my face and that's pretty much it. I also wanted to do a little giveaway for you guys since I have been gone for a really long time and I feel really bad about it. Um, I didn't want to be gone but things happened, my camera got messed up and I wasn't able to film so I thought I'd do a little giveaway for you guys. If you guys are interested in trying out airbrush makeup because it is so awesome and it really does save lots of time once you get the hang of it, um, you guys get a chance to win one. So you guys are going to get a chance to win one of the personal pro kits just like the one that I used today and basically one lucky winner is going to win it. All you really have to do, like always, my giveaways are really simple. Just leave a comment down below, um, tell me something, I don't know, just tell me anything. And um, also let me know that you're interested in winning the personal pro kit from Denair Airbrush Makeup. And also don't forget to like Denair's Facebook page and let them know that I sent you there. Um, so just leave a comment on their Facebook page um, telling them Cutesy Girl 09 sent me or something like that. And I'll leave the links to that down below as well. Um, all of the rules will be listed down below because I know I'm kind of rambling right now. But um, if you want to know a complete set of rules, it'll be in the description box underneath this video. So um, other than that, I wish you guys good luck because this is freaking awesome. Um, these kits are no joke. They come with a lot of stuff. and. You're going to freaking be obsessed with airbrush makeup after you use it because um, I know I am. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck to the winner and I will let you guys know in a few days who the winner is. So stay tuned for that.